Hi folks, in this video I'm going to share with you what happened on day 3 of my Octopus Cozy 6 heat pump install. The Octopus team arrived around 8.20 and started working on the condensation overflow, which you can see just to the right of the black trunking cover here. Next was a really significant moment when they started work on removing the old gas boiler. It didn't seem to take them very long to do, it was soon removed and then there was a hole that was going to need to be filled where the flue was, they capped the pipes off and also they filled in the holes in the wall where the boiler had been hung. At the same time they were doing a lot of work in the loft with the pipes joining them up. I haven't got a lot of coverage of this because I, I couldn't get up in the loft to take footage whilst they were working but there was a lot of pipe work that was being done at this time. They'd started work on the outside part of the overflow and then now they also needed to connect that up from the water tank. There was quite a bit of work being done here and again I didn't want to get in the way because it was a hive of activity so I didn't get any footage whilst they were doing it. Then around one o'clock on the day they filled the water up and performing a leak test and as part of that they were releasing air from the radiators. The testing was going really well. Outside they were working on fitting the overflow to the heat pump because I'd opted to have it go down the drain rather than into a soak away. They'd fitted a little cage around the condensation overflow. They'd also completed the lagging of all the outside piping. And then they'd fitted all the trunking cover over the top of all the piping all the way up to the loft space. They'd done a lot of work in the water cupboard. They had repositioned a couple of pipes that were going up into the loft space. They needed to be moved slightly. So they filled in the holes that were no longer needed. They'd fitted in the different feeds for the water, overflows. They'd clearly labelled everything because I wouldn't have a clue what half of it was. They'd also positioned and plumbed in a pump, which I believe is for the overflow. They were then lagging pipes in the loft and also filling in the old flue with an expanding foam, which filled it nicely and really did the job well. On the outside, we decided to cover the expanding foam with the old grill that had been used over the flue before. This was actually done on day four, but you can see here what it looks like. That was the end of day three. Day four's video will be coming up soon, so remember to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when I load up that video. Thanks for watching.